Hey guys and welcome to this video on the R programming language. So in this video we're going to do something that's pretty exciting. We're going to do sentiment analysis which is basically the process of computationally identifying and categorizing the expressed opinions in a piece of text. And this is used a lot to determine whether the writer's attitude towards the subject is negative, neutral, or positive. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we need to do is install the package so you can just use this command install packages and then our left parentheses our quotes and then our right parentheses and in there we're going to say our sentiment okay now I'm not going to actually run this command because I already have it installed but I am going to load our R sentiment package so once you have that installed then you just uh, use the library function to load our our sentiment package. Okay, press enter here. Now the R sentiment package has a few useful functions. Uh, one of them is called calculate total oops calculate total presence sentiment. Alright, and so we're gonna use a vector here and we're gonna put in a few mm, sentences or text. So I will say this is a good text. I would do one that says this is a bad text and then one that says this is a really bad text and let's see one more this is horrible okay so I'm press enter here and what you can see is that we get back um, three of those texts or yeah, three of this, these texts here that I have are negative or have a negative sentiment and only one of them has a positive sentiment. All right, but which one is it? You could probably guess already as this, this first one, but um, this library has a nice function that, that shows us which text corresponds to which sentiment. So we can do that using the calculate um, sentiment function a and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy what we have there all right and press enter and now what we can see is the corresponding text to its sentiment all right so this is a good text is positive all right now maybe you want um, instead of these uh, categorized words here such as positive, negative, um, very negative, very positive. Instead of those words maybe you actually just want a value for them. And so what you can use for that is the calculate score function. And again I'm just going to copy this here and we're going to paste it right there. So this should give us values instead of the uh, the words here which we have positive negative negative and negative it'll give us the values associated with them such as one negative one negative one and negative one all right so thank you guys i hope you enjoyed this video uh please leave any questions you have likes comments uh don't forget to subscribe and if you found this video interesting please share it and as always guys Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.